former Texas beauty queen, says a stranger targeted her with a tracking device, slipping it into her purse and then monitoring her every move. ABC's Gio Benitez is here with how it happened. Good morning, Gio. Amy, good morning to you. She says a simple drink at a bar turned into a scary stalker situation full of hacked phones and digital tracking. And this morning, she's telling us her story to warn you. She's a former beauty queen, once crowned Miss San Antonio. Alexandra Amati says she was hoping for a simple birthday celebration at a lounge just a week ago until a stranger changed everything. He approached me and asked me, oh, are you the birthday girl? And I said, yes, I am. And he said, that's awesome. So do you mind if I buy you and your party a drink to celebrate? Amati says the man wouldn't leave her side, at one point giving her this. I didn't really think anything of it. So I set it on the side of my purse and, you know, and, Right when I think right when I turned around is when he slid it inside my handbag. It's actually a Bluetooth device and its maker Tile tells ABC News it was designed to help locate personal items quickly, such as keys, wallets, backpacks, etc. within a close proximity. Amadi says the mystery man also somehow hacked her phone, later sending a slew of obscene text messages, also calling her my lady and asking, can we be friends now? Come to my house. But here's the catch. She says she never gave out her number. During that night, he was calling me several times, FaceTiming me, sending me extremely inappropriate photos. Amadi went to police, launching an official investigation. Anybody watching this story should be cautious of the technological advances that are out there now. And while these things are really good, if you're looking for your keys or your pets, some of these things can be used for bad purposes. And Tile insists the device is not to, meant to be used this way. Police, of course, still have many, many questions. By the way, one officer realized her phone number was actually public on Facebook. And that is, of course, a reminder to keep that information just locked down. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you so much. Good advice there, Gio. Thank you.